In today's video, I used every single one of my level 65 weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. It was absolutely insane. I got some of my best gameplay I have ever recorded in Pixel Gun 3D, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy. It's a long video, so sit back, relax. If you do enjoy this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Helps me out a lot, but with that being said, let's get into this. Welcome everybody to King of the Hill. We are literally gonna just jump right into this. I gotta do this fast, okay? I have like 600 weapons I have to use today. <laughs> it's absolutely insane, okay? I need to get like 600 kills in this video, and if I don't get kills really, really fast, then like this video might be two hours long. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Come on, come on. Yes, there we go. I, uh, I have to say that is a very difficult special weapon to use and it's not as good as you think so I'm, I'm a bit surprised it's at the very very top of my list of weapons here but at least we got that one done and out of the way and uh, if you're new to the channel and you're just now watching this you're a bit confused as to what this whole video is about what I basically do is in these videos I literally get one kill with every single weapon okay so this video is me using every single level 65 weapon that I have okay every single weapon that you see right here is level 65 how you doing Netflix with a ma yeah get out of here <laughs> all right let's go hide behind this little wall real quick and as you can see I just go down the line I equip my next six weapons here I'm gonna get a kill with these six weapons and then I'm gonna just go from there down the line through every single level 65 weapon that I have in this game. A couple of months ago, I did a video where I used every single weapon in this game, period. I tried. I, I tried it. Did you see that headshot? That was a good headshot, I have to say. But I tried, and uh, I ended up failing. <laughs> I, I literally could not complete it, because the thing is, is when you have weapons below level 65, at the stage that I am at right now, you literally cannot get kills at all, okay? It is absolutely impossible to get a single kill. So I had so many weapons at level 55 and 45 even that I, I just could not complete that challenge. So I figure using my six weapons here, I'm actually just gonna use this thing here. I'm at an ultra kill. Can I get a monster? Please, yes, there we go. First monster kill of the video, let's go. Um, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> I'm doing all right, look at me go. Let's go! Can I get another kill at the last second? Please! Please! Last second! No! God dang it. But I already got myself my first win. How many wins do you think I am going to get in this video? I want everybody to comment down below, okay? How many wins you think I'm gonna get? Or actually, better yet, how many total kills do I get in this video, okay? Alright, I want everybody to count them up, alright? If you see me get a kill, I want you to tally that, and then I want to see the total number at the very end, okay? So, yeah, it gives you motivation to actually watch this entire thing, okay? Maybe I'll give a special reward, okay, to somebody that actually finds the true number of kills that I get in this video. Maybe a giveaway. I don't know. <laughs> Look at me blasting heads off of everybody. This is absolutely insane. I love this, and, uh, you know, since this video is a pretty long video, we have a lot of stuff that we can cover. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at me go! <laughs> I'm just slapping people out. But uh, we have a lot of stuff that we could do in this video, okay? Since we have to get so many kills, and it's, it's definitely going to be an hour long at least. Um, I could probably tell life stories. I could use a bunch of my accents. I could literally improve an accent while I am recording this video. So you know I have not used Russian accent in quite some time. If you've subscribed to the Exotic Gaming YouTube channel, you probably remember back in the day in 2017, I used to use a lot of different accents all the time. I went from a southern accent, like I'm from Florida right now. You probably know a lot of people from Florida got an accent like I'm speaking with right now. Alright? I could literally go down the road about a half a mile <laughs> and find people just like this, alright? So we can go from a southern accent at times, and we can go to that Russian accent that I just used earlier. And I, I actually think I'm a little bit rusty with that, so that's pretty bad. I have to practice a little bit more throughout this video. And I can go to this uh, French accent. I do not know very well of a French accent, but I can speak with it if I want to. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> 
I feel like French people get more triggered than a lot of other people. So <laughs> watch, there's gonna be like that one person from France in my comment section already that's like, I hate your videos, I'm disliking because you tried to do a French accent and you suck with it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm trying my absolute best, okay? And uh, you know, I could do a whole lot of other things, but uh, this video, we got some crazy stuff that we can do, all right? I could talk about life stories about my struggles right now in college and how I literally have group projects that I probably should be working on and that I'm the only one that's doing the work. Like, bro, if you're in, if you're in school right now, do you ever have like those groups that you go into and no one does the work? You are the only one that does the work? That is legit me right now. Except I have like four different projects where I am the only one doing the work. It is overwhelming and I feel like I'm gonna die, okay? Basically, I have a bunch of complex business classes, okay? All right, since I'm in college and I'm almost finished, I got the big boy classes at the end here, okay? All the top of the line, most difficult classes, right? I'm talking about supply chain management, high performance organizations, entrepreneurial marketing, uh, freaking social entrepreneurship. Do those words make any sense to you? Probably to some people they don't, okay? But I gotta take all of those classes and I'm right getting toward the end here. And I just realized, Mango, Among Us! Oh no, we got Among Us memes in Pixel Gun. Well, I just killed Among Us. I'm sorry guys, I just destroyed, I just literally killed Among Us and I just got a, a noob rifle kill with, actually, that, that wasn't very newbie of a kill, I must say. I think I did pretty good there. I just got myself another victory. Let's go. Two for two. Exotic Gaming is on fire, and I got 26 kills that match. Don't you tell me that Exotic Gaming can't do well, okay? And I did this with a whole wide range of weapons. There's a lot of people that watch my videos, and they say, Wow, well, well, you suck. And that's because they think to be a pro in Pixel Gun 3D, you only have to have one loadout, and that's it, okay? You might do the three cat spam, but you only know how to use three different weapons. Just reversing over and over and over again through those three weapons. But I'm not gonna say that that's somebody that's a pro. A pro is somebody that can use all of the weapons in Pixel Gun 3D consistently and get kill after kill after kill like I just did right there. Bam, I can switch over to my golden friend. Let me get a real quick on uh, Addy real quick right there. And then I can switch over to another thing like the, the primal cold and, and the triple bite and all these other weapons. And if I can do well with everything, then I can definitely say I am a pro. Pros know how to do everything in Pixel Gun 3D, okay? So if you wanna be a pro in this game, you're watching this video and you're like, dude, I would love to get better at Pixel Gun 3D, then learn how to use everything, okay? Every single weapon that is in your inventory, use it and become good with it. Because if you can win matches with every single weapon that you own in Pixel Gun 3D, my dude, you are rocking it, okay? You are a true pro. And it actually helps making YouTube videos because then it gives you an excuse to use some of those weapons. You remember back in the day when I used to do weapon reviews all the time? Yeah, if you make a weapon review, you have to use that weapon for 20 minutes and get good gameplay because you wanna upload it to YouTube and make people happy, all right? So those are some little tips and tricks from Exotic Gaming. Look at me with my VR blasters. This dude is so annoying! He is just flying around in a jetpack the entire time. This is Pixel Gun 3D. This is not Pixel Fly. Oh my god, I'm seeing the inside of the head of this guy. Whoa. Dude, it's like those memes when you see there, you know, you have like this dog that's just sitting there on the chair, happy, smiling, wagging his tail. And you hear the girl saying, you know, do you ever wonder what's going on inside their head? And then it zooms into the dog's head and it's just, you know, him sitting there and surrounded by bacon, you know? <laughs> that's that's basically, you know, this guy. I, I, I don't really know. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. And I, I have a feeling a lot of the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video will not make sense because with a video that is one hour long, we are destined to have a lot of confusing scenarios, okay? <laughs> and that's okay because that is what you guys subscribe to Exotic Gaming for. You know me as the person that doesn't make a lot of sense sometimes, but it's all right. Come on, fair sheriff. Destroy this guy, please. One more shot. What the? What the? What just happened? What? <laughs> a guy just walked in front of my bullet. 
<laughs> I feel so bad. Did you see that? Oh my god, you should rewind the video and see that. <laughs> the guy just like, hello, hey Exotic Gaming, how's it going? And then I just, bam, headshot him. <laughs> and then I proceed to kill the other guy as well. This guy, Yeet. Look at him, I just killed him again. Yeah, just because you fly around in your jetpack doesn't mean you're super pro, are you? Hey, Arden. Oh no, is that you, Exotic? He's just saying in the chat. I feel bad, I just killed him while he's typing. Well, you know what, it's easy kills. If I can kill somebody when they're typing, it's a free kill, and I need as many free kills as I can get in order to make this freaking challenge complete. I have so many. <laughs> I'm gonna say, maybe, with a smiley face, and I can't type it, bodies are literally flying around right now. I'm gonna confuse him. I'm gonna say maybe it's me. Maybe he's not gonna know. Or maybe he thinks I'm lying because I chatted. <laughs> there are still children that watch my videos, and the second they see me chat in the game, they're like, It's a fake! It's a fake exotic gaming because he never chats. Well, I literally just did. And I just got another win. Bro, I've gotten three for three. Oh, but that was close. Technically, we tied. But look, I'm still winning, okay? All right? I'm on a winning streak. I'm doing pretty good. Exotic gaming is not doing half bad, and I am very, very happy with the gameplay that I'm getting right now. What I'm going to do is switch to Warehouse Assault. And I'm going to actually switch things up a bit, though, okay? Because here's the thing. With a video that's like an hour long, I got to get a lot of different gameplay. What the heck is going on? What the? What the? Hey! No! Lucia! What in the world was that? My sniper looked like it killed somebody, but it didn't. It like... Whoa! Oh my god, you got to leave a like on the video for that. You have to leave a like on the video for that. That was freaking awesome. Hey, buddy. What? What? Oh no, that wasn't me, but that looked like I killed him. What the heck? This is already a chaotic match. Uh, and this is a hard weapon to use. I don't like this thing that much. Just kidding. I do like it because I did get a kill with it. Oh, and I like this thingy here. I don't even remember what this thing is called. This is like the the melee that you, you charge up and then it flies across the map. It's very OP. <laughs> As you could see, I literally got a kill in about three seconds. But um, yeah, all these first weapons that I'm using are very, very powerful. And uh, you could pretty much equip any of these things and do insanely well. Like, I want to know how long I can go before I actually use a challenging weapon. Because none of these things are really that challenging. Like, look at this solar flare. <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's a one-shot kill. Like, you're, you're done if you see me with this thing. Exotic gaming with the solar flare is not something you want to see, okay? Oh, no. But then the double cash back just comes in and, and, and messes me all up. Can I kill this guy? Yes, I can. I feel so bad. He looked like a really big noob, but it's whatever. It's okay. Noobs must unite together and form this coalition where they can go against Exotic Game. You know what I would love? Let me know if you'd love to see this, okay? Imagine a YouTube video where, you know when you see, like, people play Fortnite or PUBG and it's, like, 100 versus 1? There's like the YouTuber that sits there and there's 99 of their subscribers against them and they and the YouTuber tries to win. Imagine that, but in Pixel Gun 3D and it's like me versus 99 of you. Like Pixel Gun 3D should create a custom game mode for that. Who am I kidding? They're probably never going to actually respond to me and ever do something like that for me. But I think that would be so cool. I could do a live stream. You guys could all join, right? And it's 99 versus 1. <laughs> Except I get the OP stuff. And everybody else has, like, you know, a knife. Like, everybody, all 99 of you, would have, like, the simple shotgun and the pixel gun and the combat knife and stuff like that. And, hey, hello, how's it going? What are you doing? <laughs> what? He just, he came toward me, he looked at me, and then he was just like, nah, I don't feel like it. I actually don't feel like killing you, Exotic Gaming, so you do your thing. I'm gonna just run away and hide. And that's literally what he did, and I don't understand why. Oh, I got the Sharkado. Dude, this is my first time I'm ever using this thing, I think. I, I just recently got this thing. Um, oh, it's a charge weapon. I, like, literally do not know what this weapon does. It's powerful, though. It's blue. He notices me. Did you see him in the chat? He says, I love your vids. And I'm going to say thank you with a smiley face. Oh, no. Well, I tried. That's oh, okay. I hate that Pixel Gun 3D, when you die, when you're chatting... It, it just doesn't allow you to continue chatting. That is one thing that needs to be changed more than pretty much anything in this game. If you want to be able to chat to people, even if you die, it shouldn't matter. Oh, no. 
What is this thing that I'm using? <laughs> oh no, bro, it's too hard. No, it's blue. Bro, come on. You gotta let me get the kill. You have to be a little bit easier on me, okay? Don't put on your freaking invisibility and, and just move left and right. I can't even kill you. Well, okay, all right. I mean, that's, that's not what I was talking about, but okay. I mean, <laughs> he literally just sat still. He listened to me. Maybe my microphone is on. Maybe these people secretly know that I'm talking. That would be really kind of scary. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, I actually have my voice broadcasted to the entire server? Hey, buddy, how are you? We both got the same weapon. Uh, he doesn't really look like he's doing a whole lot, so <laughs> whatever. I don't care. It's going to be easy kills for me, so I'm going to just take it or leave it, you know? You have to just take all these easy kills when you can, because eventually, at some point in this video, kills are going to get very, very difficult, okay? I think once I get to those, um, you know, those rare and those common level 65 weapons, it's gonna be ridiculous. Please! Yeah, there we go! And now we got the primary thing. I love this thing. I forgot what it's called. The totem something. But look at this. It's powerful. That's a very solid pri- Oh no, the enchanting altar. That's what it's called. Very solid primary weapon. I like that thing a lot. So everybody, oh my god, what the heck is going on here? Literally, this guy just like pops out in front of me to say hello. He scared me. Why are you putting on your invisibility? You won't be seen in the video, my friend. I'm going to tell him that you should probably try and kill me. You should, <laughs> he's literally right in front of me. I get, I guarantee you he's getting a screenshot right now. You should play, dude. Yeah, let's, let's see if he actually does something. Okay, well, he did something. He killed somebody. I have no idea what just happened. What is going on? Oh, look at me go. Let's go. Triple kill for Exotic Gaming. Is he going to respond, though? That's the most important question. And wow, that is a very powerful melee weapon. Oh, he's literally saying, you. <laughs> you. You. Don't just stand there. God dang it. Okay, let me just try that again. Don't just stand there. Ha ha. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to sound mean. I want to just tell the guy, hey, don't just stand there and try to get a screenshot of my character. Play with me so it doesn't look like I'm just getting easy kills. Make it intense. This has got to be an intense video, okay? If this thing is going to be an hour long video, you got to make it intense so people want to watch more of it. Did I just get a final kill or not? I don't know. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> what, what even is going on right now at this point in time? Should I leave? Should I join into another map? Sort of feel like I probably should. Wow, everybody's leaving. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go into Ant's Life. Next up, we're gonna go into Ant's Life. And we have so many weapons to go. This is ridiculous. I kind of, I'm curious, all right? Listen to how I'm talking right now. And I wanna see <laughs> at the end of the video if my voice is like dead, okay? Because exotic gaming commentates very differently from other YouTubers. This is why I, I probably can't do live streams very often, okay? Because I talk too much, <laughs> okay? There are people that do live streams that people always say talk a lot, like Tommy in it in Minecraft, okay? People say he talks a lot when he does his live streams. Bro, I do not stop talking. So can you imagine me playing a game for three hours and talking like this the entire time? My, my voice would be gone. I'd be dead. I would be absolutely dead. So that's why you don't see me doing too many live streams. I think that might change though. When I finish college, I might actually do more live streams. So just a little heads up when, uh, you know, in about six months or so, eight months or so, you might actually see Exotic Gaming creating a Twitch channel, okay? And I will let you know well in advance so you can subscribe to me on Twitch. It'll be freaking epic, okay? All right, I'll get to play Pixel Gun. I'll get to play other games. I'll get, I'll play whatever you want. I can't wait, actually. I'm, I'm legitimately excited. It, it's gonna be cool. It'll be very cool. And then I can create a VOD channel. And then you'll have two hour long videos like this one that you're watching. <laughs> Literally like every day almost. That would be awesome. I'll have a VOD channel. Exotic Gaming VODs. And we'll get a million subscribers on that channel. Hey Brave Spirit. Wow. I feel really bad. <laughs> he was like looking at the sink. I think he was a health inspector. He probably saw that this kitchen was not up to par, so he was looking at it, and he was probably trying to get some pictures to send over to his boss, you know? Put into the local newspaper, the Pixel Gun, you know, Gazette. The Pixel Gun Gazette, yes, that's a newspaper name. And then they're gonna, you know, put a big report in there on the front page that says, 
Anslife Kitchen has been reportedly not following proper health protocols in the kitchen. And they actually need to have Golden Ramsay come in and uh, give a full report on his Kitchen Nightmares show. Who else watches Kitchen Nightmares? I literally spent like four hours last night <laughs> watching Kitchen Nightmares videos over and over and over again. If you've never seen them, I promise you they are the best videos ever. Gordon Ramsay is an absolute legend. He's a chef, if you don't know who he is, right? And he basically goes to these terrible restaurants, you know, literally like the, the worst restaurants you've ever seen in your entire life. Like I'm talking cockroaches running around in the food. Everything's rotten that they're selling everybody. It's absolutely terrible, right? And he sits there and he just absolutely destroys them. He's like, this is, this is raw. You're serving me raw food. It's rotten. How long has it been sitting in this refrigerator? It's warmer than an oven. You're not freezing your food. And then you have all these chefs that sit there. And you know, the first clip from that video is the chef sitting there like, yeah, I make good food. I actually, I make the best food. I'm such a good chef that Gordon Ramsay is gonna be just amazed with how good my food is. And then two seconds later, you have him sitting there and tasting it and he's just like, oh, it's bland, it's disgusting, it tastes frozen. <laughs> and then he talks to the chef and the chef's like, yeah, but oh, it, it's fine if it's frozen. It doesn't matter, it doesn't change the taste. And he's like, what's wrong with you? You're literally, your restaurant's on the ocean. You can just fish for your fish and you can serve it to your customers. Why are you getting it frozen? I don't know. It's funny. If you haven't checked out Kitchen Nightmares, I totally recommend it. They literally upload almost every single day on YouTube. Yes, I am giving them a shout out. <laughs> can I, I would love to get sponsored by Kitchen Nightmares. I would so proudly give that channel a shout out and Gordon Ramsay a shout out. I, I'm such a bad chef, but I'd love it. Could you imagine? That would be cool. That would be cool. Exotic Gaming, you know, he doesn't get subscri He doesn't get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. He gets sponsored by Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> that would be that would be pretty cool. In fact, it would be most likely the other way around. I would beg Gordon Ramsay to feature me, so then he uh, I, I would be sponsored on the Gordon Ramsay channel or something like that. I have no idea. Bada bing, bada boom. Shotgun time. Let's go. By the way. In the background, I feel like I've gotten some pretty good gameplay so far, okay? I am really like, I'm into it. I am really into it. And this is a weird weapon. What the heck? Ferocious Poleaxe? Is that what that thing is called? I don't know if I've ever used that thing before. I think I got it, and that's it. Hey, buddy. Bam! Headshot, let's go! And then this thing, I don't even know how to use this. What the heck is this thing? What the heck? I don't even... <laughs> is this the rock thrower? I've never used this before, I think, in my entire life. What is this? How do you get a kill with this thing? Does it have area damage? What the? <laughs> what was that guy doing? He looked like he was looking at the ground with a rocket in his hand. Dude, you're not Elon Musk. You can't just shoot rockets into the sky. Okay? This is Pixel Gun. You shoot rockets at players' faces, and that's it. And you just live with it. And then they die because they explode. Because if a rocket goes towards you and hits you, you're not going to survive. I, uh, you know that thing? There's that thing called the Dear Moon Project. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, YouTubers making videos on it. It's this entire project where you can actually send in applications to go on the very first mission to the moon. Civilian mission, okay? Ooh, I'm actually... I'm actually equipping some legendary stuff, not uh, not mythical stuff now. This this should be interesting. But uh, I actually was originally planning on doing that. I, I I backed out at the last second, but I was I was actually considering considering applying and trying to actually be on the very first mission to the moon. That would be pretty cool. I'd love to go to the moon. That would be awesome. How many of you guys would actually like if you were given an opportunity right now to say, hey, you can train for two years, and then in two years from now, you can go to the moon. How many of you guys would get on a rocket and do that? Let me know down below in the comments, okay? I'm, I'm actually legitimately curious. Anyways, I, <laughs> I've i used so many weapons, I, I don't even know the names of right now. I, uh, I, I kind of like how I'm doing this better than some of my other gun game challenges because I sit there and I spend, I, I waste so much time just naming off what weapons I'm using. And you guys already know what the weapons are. 
Like, you're intelligent. You know this thing is the heavy drill rifle. You don't need me telling you. Hey, guys. This weapon that I am using is the heavy drill rifle. No. You know, what's, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm using? It's fine. It's all good. By the way, what do you want me to make next in Pixel Gun 3D? Okay? I have an idea, um, potentially, where I can start doing some of the top 10 weapons again in Pixel Gun 3D. If you remember, I used to do these videos every once in a while where I would rank the top 10 best primary weapons, for example. Or maybe the top 10 best heavy. Or the top 10 best area damage, potentially. So let me know down below if you would like me to do that or something completely different. I, uh, I've been doing Pixel Gun 3D videos for so long, I'd really like to do something just completely different, you know? All the YouTubers now sit there and they do the same stuff that I used to do, okay? Weapon reviews, they do the freaking case openings, they do all these other type of stuff, right? So I gotta do something different that nobody else does, and I would love if you guys could let me know. I got negative 35 points right there, which is very confusing, and I don't actually know why. Why did I get negative 35? That doesn't make sense. Oh, there's the guy right there. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. Why does this thing suck? <laughs> what is this weapon? I can't get a kill with this thing at all. Come on, please. Oh, look at me. I am just... What the? Did you see that body? <laughs> it, like, went all the way up and hit the ceiling. Wh why am I getting so many kill assists? This is just... This this sucks. This is not fun. Please, just give me one. Yes, thank you. I'm done with that thing. Get that out of my life. I don't want that anymore. It's cool, though. I like it. I do like how it works. I just wish it was a bit more powerful. It actually is legitimately one of the cooler cooler weapons, but I don't understand why it's a melee. Like, it does not make sense why that thing is a melee. It literally, it, it, it's not a melee. It's not a freaking melee. So why pixel gun? Oh, and I get the submarine. Is that the submarine drone? I don't even know. I have no idea what weapons I'm using. All I know is people are disappearing on me and my feeble mind, who's been playing for probably a half an hour already, cannot keep up with all this stuff that's going on. God help me. This is going to be... This is going to be longer than an hour. Oh, no. <laughs> my voice. My voice, guys, is going to be so destroyed. I literally have group presentations. I have a presentation in a day from now. Or no, two days from now. What if my voice is gone? How do I, how do I legitimately present if I don't have... If I lose my voice? Could you imagine me sitting there? You know, I'm in my supply chain management class, and uh, it's time to present, and I'm just sitting there. Hey guys, welcome. Uh, today, we're going to talk about supply and demand. And, oh no, oh, maybe I shouldn't. There's a guy standing on the floor. James, James, what, what just happened? Dude, what? I, I legitimately, I'm just talking, acting like an idiot, and I look down, and this guy is just chilling on the floor in ant's life. How does that make any sense? There's so many weird things happening in this video, dude. Oh my god. People walking in front of my bullets, you know, freaking people standing on the floor in ant's life. I have no idea. Somebody killed me with the username, I can't aim, and uh, I think you can aim if you can kill me, so... You know, I think you gotta give yourself a little bit more credit, bro. Please. Bam. Headshot. Let's go. One shot, one kill with the Chicka Boom shotgun. So, uh, you know, since we have some time, I'm sort of trying to think of, like, any unusual, like, you know, life story or something like that that I can tell you guys. I feel like there's so many things that have happened in my life that uh, I just have forgotten over the years. There's one story that I told long ago, and I, I, I feel like I, I sort of want to tell this story again because I think most people probably don't remember it. I accidentally just clicked Sky Islands. Okay, I guess we're going into Sky Islands. All right, guys, new map. Let's go. So uh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to tell a life story, and if you know this life story, I apologize in advance because you probably already have heard of it, but the vast majority of you guys watching probably were not subscribed to me when I told this story in the past. This is the story 
of a crazy psycho girl that was in love with me in high school. Yes, okay? You know, you hear all the girls on Twitter that talk about all the guys that love them in high school that are in love with them, right? No, this is the other way around. I had this crazy girl that was in love with me back in high school. Literally everything from I would walk up the stairs, she would be walking down the stairs, and then she'd slap me on the butt, okay? And then, you know, I would turn around and she'd be just lost in the crowd of people so I would never know who it was that did it, okay? But then soon enough, yes, I, I would know. I would know who it was. And I want you to prepare yourself because I hope this is not anything that would ever happen to you, okay? So, we're gonna call this person Cello Girl, okay? Because I don't even remember her name, okay? And it sounds weird. You know, you're like, what the heck? A cello is an instrument. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But this girl would run around in high school and just carry this gigantic red cello everywhere. A cello is like a violin on steroids, okay? So she'd just carry this big red cello everywhere, to classes, to lunch, every freaking place, to her car. She'd put it in the passenger seat and put a seat belt around it, okay? Actually, she probably didn't do that, but I would assume, considering how much she loved this thing, she probably did that as well. But basically, um, I remember one time where this girl would, you know, after a while, I kind of realized that she was absolutely madly in love with me. I, uh, my school, my high school had a student center, okay? Now, the student center was where all the kids would come out of class and come to this one building. They had fresh cookies. They had, like, a little lounge area, a ping pong table. You could just hang out with your friends, you know, maybe in between lunch and your next period, stuff like that. It was fun. So I was sitting there with my friend Brian, okay? We were sitting at a table with four chairs. We were sitting across from one another, and uh, we were just hanging out. I think we were playing Minecraft, or maybe we were playing uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Honestly, it was probably Pokemon, because we, we loved Pokemon back in the day. We used to play Game Boy games on our iPads, and it was really fun. But uh, I remember Brian said, hey, I'm going to go use the restroom, or something like that. I don't remember exactly what he said, but he left the table. And I was like, oh no, I know Cello Girl is here. I am vulnerable. He has left me in my most vulnerable state. Because, you know, people want the tables. They want to sit down. And uh, I can't just leave with him. Because that would also be kind of weird. I'm joining my friend to the bathroom. So, you know, I can't really do that. So, I'm sitting there. Brian leaves. And I'm sitting by myself at the table. Playing, playing Pokemon, I think, on my iPad. And then Red Cello Girl seizes this opportunity. And she decides to walk toward me and sit down right next to me. Not across from me, right next to me. So she is within physical contact distance of me, okay? And she does. He decides to put her arm on me and say hello. And by the way, did you see that? Oh my God, did you see that ultra kill? I got like four kills in about three seconds. What the heck? That was awesome. Bro, I am literally doing better as I am playing longer. This is insane. Anyway, sorry. I should probably get back to the story. So I'm sitting there, she sits down, and she's just like, hey, so, I heard you're dating this one girl, and uh, I wanted to know what her name was so I can literally kill her. She doesn't actually say that, but she literally said something like, I want to break her teeth, okay? Like she wanted to do a little, a little uppercut move with her fists and punch my girlfriend at the time's face. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, no, <laughs> what? I, lo I love her. Well, why would I tell you who she is so you destroy her? No, this is not okay, okay? Right? So I I try to ignore her. I just say, no, I, I really don't feel like telling you who she is, right? I try to be nice because I'm the type of person that's just nice all the time. I can't get mad. I can't get angry. I can't get ferocious and vicious, okay? Dark Pumpkin decided to just fall inside the, the volcano there. I, I, I apologize. And I'm trying to remember how this story went. But basically, like, eventually Brian came back. She left. And then Brian decided to leave again after I told him what happened. He thought it was funny. You know? I'm like, oh my god, Brian. Red Cello Girl sat down with me and I'm scared. And he's like, oh, well, I'm gonna leave again and see if she comes back. And I'm just like, no, please, dude. Please don't. Please. Please don't do that. And then he decides to leave again. And then she says, you know, she, she, she like sits down, she looks at me, she like starts touching my chest and my stomach and stuff like that, right? And she says stuff like, hey, 
you have a really nice body figure, you know, and I'm just like, all right, okay, that's, that's nice, yes, I did do powerlifting, okay, so, yes, that's, that's sort of what's going on here, and she's like, I wonder if you have a six-pack, and I'm like, I am not gonna show you, <laughs> I am not gonna show you that, so stop being weird, please, for the love of God, right, she doesn't, and she eventually says something like, what the heck did she say was the thing, uh, she says, you know, I, uh, you ever heard the phrase, once you go back, or once you go black, you never come back, right? I'm sure you guys have heard that before. You probably joke about that in high school, right? And I'm like, yes, I know that phrase. I have heard it before. And she's like, yes, as you know, I am half black. And I'm like, yes, I, I do know that. And she's just like, so, would you like to go black? And I'm just like, no. <laughs> No, I have a girlfriend. I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's just like, okay, okay. All right. Would you like to go dark chocolate? And I'm just like, uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't. And she's just like, okay, well, why don't you give me your phone so I can put my phone number in it? And I'm just like, no, no. Sorry, I don't have my phone with me. That was a complete and utter lie. I had my phone, like, literally in my pocket, but I said no. And she's like, okay, well, I'm going to uh, give you my phone, and you put your phone number in it. And then she basically forced me to write a phone number in it. Luckily, since I didn't have my phone with me, I basically kind of played it off that, oh, I'll, I'll get your text message later on, right? So I gave her a fake phone number. I think I changed, like, one of the numbers on my phone, right? And uh, I assume she probably tried to text me after that point. <laughs> probably like, hey, hey, how are ya? So uh, I found out who your girlfriend is and I'm literally gonna kill her, okay? I'm gonna break her leg, so, you know, you only have half a girlfriend now, right? And I was freaked out. So basically, at that point in time, I think Brian came back to rescue me. And I was, you know, traumatized at that point in time. This girl was starting to feel me up and everything like that. And it was very weird. Uh, that was not fun. It was not fun. But believe it or not, I think that actually was not the final, the final scenario where this person actually terrified me for the rest of my life, okay? Because that's only half the story. I remember that that first story happened, I think, in junior year. I think it was in 11th grade, okay? All right? It was like May, toward the end of the year in 11th grade, okay? And then 12th grade came around, all right? Senior year in high school. You know, seniors, you have like your special trips that you get to take, right? Okay, senior senior day or senior week where you can go on a vacation somewhere with your entire, your entire class. I remember since I'm in Florida, I think we went to like Bush Gardens one day. We went to the beach. We went to like SeaWorld or something like that. I don't really remember where we went, but one of the days when we went to the beach, we all took these buses, okay? All right? And uh, I, I was talking with my friends. I was talking to my friend Brian and some of my other friends. And I was like, yeah, let's go sit together on the bus. You know, two people per seat, right? It should be fine. And uh, we go all the way over there to the beach. We have a great time. It's a lot of fun. And then when we come back, Red Cello Girl appears again. It's like a legendary Pokemon that you lose earlier on in the game, and then it miraculously appears in the wild a second time, okay? Except this girl is the exact opposite of a legendary Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that I would catch in Pokemon Go and transfer for a couple of extra candies, okay? All right? So basically, we're sitting there. I get on the bus early with my friends, and since we think maybe this bus isn't going to be completely filled, we're going to spread it out, you know? I think it was probably my friend Brian, so we get all the way in the very back of the bus, you know, because that's where the cool kids sit. The cool kids sit in the back of the bus. I always like the back of the bus. Hey, Arden. I think that guy was in another match of mine. I think he joined me somehow. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we get in the back of the bus. We're having a nice time. There's not too many people, and then eventually more people start joining in, and we still actually manage to have the seats to ourselves. The entire bus was filled up for the most part, but I had my seat by myself. And my friend Brian had the seat by himself. And uh, we see Red Cello Girl decide to get on the bus at the last second, okay? And she's looking around. She's scouring. She's trying to find men to sit next to, okay? All right? And then eventually, she sees me. You know, she tries to play it off. She says, hey, hey, does anybody have any seats 
Anybody, anybody want to have me sit next to you? And, and everybody's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's all right, you know, right? And then eventually Brian decides, oh, I'm going to just point Michael out. <laughs> so he's like, hey, hey, Michael here has a seat that's, that's empty next to him. You can sit next to him. And I'm like, Brian, Brian, no, Brian, please, please, just sit next to me. No, I, I don't want her sitting next to me. It's, it's an hour and a half drive. I can't deal with this. And then she decides to sit next to me. <laughs> Brian does not move. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the entire world. And she sits down next to me and she just looks at me with like this sparkle in her eye. She's like, yes, I got exactly what I wanted. She's like, hey, how are you, Michael? I, uh, I've been missing you. And I'm just like, I've not been missing you at all. I didn't say that because I didn't want to die. So I just said, okay, all right. And this girl, I kid you not, she pulls out a styrofoam box and there's crab legs inside. <laughs> there is legitimately crab legs. She went to the seafood shack before she went on the bus and she got an entire like $30 meal of crab legs. And the whole goddamn time she's sitting there eating crab legs right next to me on the bus. And I'm like, this is not okay. I don't like this. This is not fun. Brian thinks it's the funniest thing in the entire world. So you know what I do? My brilliant self. I legitimately sit there. I have my headphones, right? I plug, I put my headphones into my ear and then I pretend that I'm listening to music because I had broken headphones that I remember I like somehow got them in the water at the beach earlier on. So they broke. They like didn't play music anymore. So <laughs> I put in these earphones. I made it seem like I played, I was playing music and I just shut my eyes and I fell asleep. I, I didn't actually fall asleep, but I made it look like I fell asleep. Okay. For an hour and a half drive all the way back to our school. Okay. And I kid you not, the entire hour and a half, as she's sitting there with the freaking tool, breaking open her crab legs and eating us freaking dinner, she's staring at me, okay? I know this because you know when you have this sixth sense where like you can tell when somebody's staring at you, okay? She was staring at me like six inches from my face the entire time just looking at me and I was so scared, dude. Oh my God. My friend Brian told me later on that, yeah, she legitimately was looking at me the entire time, just staring at me. And she probably even tried to talk with me at times, but I just, you know, I said that I was falling asleep. And by the way, I just got a kill with that heavy weapon with the effect. So I'm going to just, you know, count that as a kill. So in case anybody wonders, they're like, oh, wow, he's out of gaming. You didn't get a kill with that thing. I got a kill. So be quiet. <laughs> it was hard to get a kill with that thing. Anyways, yeah. We basically get back to the uh, to the school, and I think that was one of the last times I ever saw that girl. <laughs> I have not seen her since, uh, and that was it. That was basically it. That's the story of Crazy Psycho Red Cello Girl, which I've told in a past YouTube video, and uh, maybe some of you guys remember that. If you've seen some of my old videos, I think around 2017, I told this story before. So if you've subscribed to me for that long or you went back into my old videos, you might remember that story. And I wonder how good that story is or how accurate that is to what I told back in 2017. Because when I told that story in 2017, it literally happened like a week ago, okay? Now it's been four years. So I wonder how accurate I was with that story. By the way, I have so many different life stories on my channel, just like that. Crazy things, you know, freaking girls that tried to stab me and everything like that. So, you know, just start scrolling back through my past videos and you'll start to see, you know, stories of how I almost got arrested, other stories where crazy psychotic girl tried to stab me in China. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Pretty crazy stuff. That's all I got to say. I have another story, but I think I'm going to hold off for just a bit to tell it because it's, it's, uh, it's a time when I actually outran the police. And that's not even a joke. It's not like me, you know, trying to clickbait some video title. <laughs> like, that's legitimately a time when I tried to, like you know, outrun the police. Oh, I got another kill with that thing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna count it. I tried getting an actual proper kill with that heavy thing, but I keep getting kills with the effect and that's good enough for me, so whatever. So, I just gotta say, I have not used my southern accent enough. I really gotta say that. I gotta practice it a bit more so I don't sit there and forget how to do it, you know? When I live in Florida, sometimes I get into sticky situations where 
I gotta use a southern accent so I don't look out of place. I'm sure some of you guys might have had the same scenarios before. I like going on these road trips, okay? When I, I, when I, you know, have a weekend to myself, I sit there and I just go in my car and start driving. I've seen some really cool stuff with that in mind, okay? I, I've literally gone to like, you know, 10 or 15 different cold water springs in Florida. I've seen some awesome stuff. If you follow me on Twitter, which you should, it's exotic gaming, exactly how my channel is spent, spelled, I should say. I'm out of ammo, what? Oh no, this is not good. What in the world? <laughs> that guy's name is God is Great, and there's another guy named Praise Jesus Christ. We got the uh, the real true Christians on this server. Family friendly Christian gaming in Pixel Gun 3D. You gotta love it. <laughs> All right. Anyways, yeah. But basically, I, uh, I I sometimes get into iffy situations when I'm driving. You know, maybe I, I run out of gas and I have to stop at this gas station in this tiny town with like you know a hundred people. And, you know, there's some real redneck guys that are sitting there with their pickup trucks that pull up beside you at the gas pump. And I have to, you know, I have to try to pretend that I'm, I'm from there. So, you know, I use a little bit of a southern accent, and it always works out. It always is fine. They're always nice. Actually, some of the nicest people that I've ever seen before, legitimately, in these tiny towns. I don't know what it is, but people that live in cities are mean. Dude, I have to say, people that live in cities are mean for the most part. Probably some of you guys know that. I don't know if it's like that in other countries as well. Like, if you're watching this and you're from, like, the Philippines or you're from India, is it when you go out to those tiny towns, are those people really nice? I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear your opinions because that actually legitimately interests me. I've been to tiny towns in some of those countries. I've been to tiny towns in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Japan, in South Korea. Tiny towns, right? And uh, it's always been nice. Chile, Peru, countries like that. I've been to so many freaking countries where people have been so nice, and uh, it's cool. You know, I get a lot of people that sit there, I, I, you always see those memes where people are like, oh, French people are really rude, and I don't notice that. Actually, when I went to France like six or seven years ago, I went to an area of France that's like right over the border from Switzerland, and everybody was super nice to me, despite me being the most American person like ever. <laughs> Right? I'm like, what's up, guys? Hi, American here. How's everybody doing? And everybody's just really nice to me, and it's pretty cool. So, yeah, if, if, you, if you ever hear that meme or that stereotype that French people are actually really rude, I don't know if I was just lucky, but uh, they're actually nice. They're actually legitimately nice, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, yeah. Anyways, I gotta say, right here, in uh, War of Toys, I, I, I'm, I'm having a bit of a difficult time. <laughs> Some of these weapons are a bit hard to use. This space rifle, I don't know what it is about the space rifle, but like, it is a very hard thing to use. And I don't even know what this weapon is called. What is this? What is this thing? How do I use this thing? What is this special thing that's in my hand? Does it shoot area damage? What is this? Somebody please help. <laughs> It's, it's not a live stream, so nobody can help. I'm on my own right now. High invisible. How many shots is it to kill? Dude. Okay, good. Finally, I got a kill. Even on an invisible guy, that was pretty cool. I have no idea what that thing is called, but I don't like it. That's probably the first weapon that was legitimately difficult to use in this video. And that's still only a two-shot kill, so, you know, that's pretty good. I, uh, I have to say, we still do have a lot of weapons to go. But I'm keeping going. I'm trucking along. Things are all right. Boss Cat's over here absolutely destroying me because he has his heavy machine gun. Or whatever that thing is called that. I, I just recently got myself. But unfortunately, that versus this thing, the Valentine Destroyer or whatever this thingy is called, this thing that I have in my hands is not that good compared to that heavy machine primary weapon. Oh, maybe I lied. <laughs> maybe I lied. It's actually pretty good. I got two kills, like, instantaneously right after I said that. So that was pretty cool. Um, there are so many weapons to go. Like, I legitimately hope you clicked on this video, like, prepared to watch a two-hour-long video. Because this might end up being two hours, okay? So, uh, please, you know? If at any point you gotta leave, you think, oh, this is way too long, break it up into sections, you know? Watch half the video... And then come back tomorrow and watch the other half of the video. All right? I want you to enjoy what I'm doing here. And I, I'm going to try my absolute hardest when I'm commentating 
right now to never get like angry. Because I notice, and you might have noticed this in some of my past gun game challenge videos, the videos that I upload that are really, really long. By about this point in the video, where I am at right now, I get mad. <laughs> like, I legitimately get very, very frustrated with people, and I'm just like, Ugh, you suck. You're such a bad player. I'm gonna rage quit like I just did right there. And I'm not gonna do that. No. I'm gonna just have fun. Because when I have fun, you guys have more fun when you're just, you know, watching. And I think that's always better. It, it allows for a better viewer's experience. We're going to go back into King of the Hill. King of the Hill actually was really, really good in the intro in those first couple of matches. And oh my god, there's the real esoteric ink. Wow, guys. It's the real one. I, I have news for you. If you see anybody with the username real esoteric ink or real echo soldier, real big B stats, real exotic gaming, <laughs> it's not the real one. <laughs> Because they don't need to, we, we don't feel the need to put the word real in our username. So it's just some little fan kid, all right, that wants to put him in his username. And, you know, you can't really hate him for that. You know, he doesn't have a username that says Esoteric Inc. sucks, right? Because that would be mean and that would be a bit of a problem, right? He just has real S. I I can't be mad at that guy, you know? You can't be mad at the kid just for, you know, loving the YouTuber, you know? You know, it's all good. And he's probably pretty good. It looks like he's killing me a lot of times. So, you know, he's at least portraying Esoteric Inc. in a good light, okay? Because he's a very good player. And, uh, you know, <laughs> if you're trying to pretend that you're Esoteric Inc., you might as well do good. <laughs> if you're pretending to be Exotic Gaming, you probably should not win every single match that you go into because I'm not the best player in the entire world, that's for sure. But I make it funny, so, yeah. Anyways... Oh my god, look at those kills, bro. I can do really good with the sniper in this map. Like, I actually... I'm proud of myself. Hi, Ferdy. Oh, oh no. Ferdy didn't even turn around. You know, you really should turn around, dude. If They're not turning around. It's like flames are hitting that guy in the, in the back. I'm sorry, but if this was real life, and if somebody was like... Throwing a flamethrower at your face. Real esoteric ink. Come on, buddy. Don't just sit there and ignore it. It's fire. Fire is not good. Oh, speaking of flamethrowers, a couple months ago, I got, or actually probably a year ago at this point, I made the best investment of my entire life. I bought the Elon Musk flamethrower. The boring company flamethrower. You know what I'm talking about, right? If you don't, Elon Musk, for a limited time, sold these flamethrowers, okay? And I bought one on eBay. I think I paid a thousand dollars for it. If you look on eBay now, those things are selling for like two thousand, two thousand five hundred dollars. If I sold it right now, oh my god, I would make more than two and a half times the amount that I paid for, but I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna save it because imagine the videos that I can make eventually with that thing. When I finish college and I can make way more creative videos like vlogs and other stuff like that, I could literally do like Pixel gun 3D in real life, right? And I could buy like a flame proof suit off of the internet, right? And I could like shoot the flamethrower at my brother while he's way, way wearing the suit. Oh my God, it would be freaking awesome videos. I, I can't even wait. It would be freaking epic. I, if, if you guys are excited for that, let me know in the comments. Bada bing, bam, boom. Come on, Epic Tiger. Let's go, dude. I am just king of the hill. This might be my favorite map. This might be my new favorite map in this game. It's an OG map. Like, seriously. This map has been around for more than pretty much any other map in Pixel Gun 3D. But I do so well in this map. I don't know what it is about it. Like, Silent School and Pool Party, I suck in those maps. Those maps are way more complicated. And you die way too frequently. It's really annoying, actually. Like, I, I don't have fun when I go into Silent School and Pool Party because you die too often, you know? Every three seconds, some kid has this area damage thing, and then you die, right? But you can actually get a monster kill pretty regularly in this map, and that's pretty cool. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Bam, bam, look at me go! I mean, seriously, I am doing pretty good. I think you guys should be proud of me, because I am actually playing much better than I think I normally play. This is cool. I like this, I like this. You know what? You know what? I think it might be time to tell my other story, though. All right, as we're finishing off this match, I think we got second place. Probably the guy that's pretending to be esoteric ink got first. How many kills? Hello? Pixel gun. 
Hello, is anybody there? Oh, wow. Two people both got way more kills than me. But that's fine. I'm, I'm starting to use lesser and lesser powerful weapons, so that's sort of expected. Honestly. You know? It's not a big deal. Anyways, we're going to go back into it because King of the Hill is always fun. I like it. I, I actually can understand what's going on. It's not too chaotic. It's not too crazy. It's good. It's good. This guy just has to use the same weapon over and over again. If you're using this thing that I have in my hand, the Beast, this versus that thing... Uh, this thing is not very good. <laughs> the beast, I, I wish it was more powerful. I wish it had some unique ability that made it special. But it's really just, it's not that great as a weapon, surprisingly enough. And I think I'm going to leave. I want to go into maps where I can get a lot of kills very, very quickly. And Sky Islands was the map earlier on that I did really, really well in. So I think I'm going to go into this one again. And I think, I think I could probably win every match that I go into here in Sky Islands. That might be a bit of a stretch. That might be a bold statement. But I think I'm going to be good enough to actually do that. Hello! How you doing? Look at you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> My beast is not doing too well. I am missing every shot. Dude. Oh, I spoke too soon. This thing is not that good. It's not that it's not that good. I think it's a two-shot kill. Let's test it out. Hey, Matthew. One two. It is a two-shot kill. I, I just suck. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. You never subscribe to Exotic Gaming for the most pro gameplay ever, okay? There are other YouTubers that do that, but I think I can confidently say I do the best commentary on YouTube for Pixel Gun videos, okay? I pride myself in that. All the other YouTubers sit there and they sound boring. They're like, oh, well, it's time to use the portable death moon here. Okay, all right, here we go. And they're really serious all the time, you know? They just sit there and they, they're very monotone. They're like the Twitch streamers that you see when they play games like Call of Duty and CSGO. They sit there and they don't say anything. They're like, yep, got it. Yep, got him. Bam. Blew him away. Here we go. Portable death moon time. There we go. Another kill. Tiger. All right. Unicorn. Guy standing. Hello. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I sounded like Obama. What? <laughs> what? Hello, my fellow Americans. My fellow Matthew. I am so sorry that I killed you. <laughs> that is unfortunate. But as president, or past president, I have the ability to do that. And it's okay. <laughs> he doesn't actually. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think this is good. Sky Islands, this is a fun map. Hey, buddy. Oh, that guy had a happy face on his skin. What's his name? Tibu? Tiku. Tiku. I like jumping on top of this mountain and then just flying down like this because people like Tiku, they have no idea what's happening, okay? Like, out of nowhere, they just get sprayed with bullets like a freaking airstrike, and it's awesome. I love it. Um, but look at me go. I am just flying through these weapons right here. I don't know. Do you think we're halfway done yet? Well, I mean, I don't know, but, you know, you can see this video right now and see if I'm halfway done. I might not be. <laughs> and that's okay. Oh, and I get to use my favorite sniper, Gauss Cannon. I love this thing. Look at how good it is. <laughs> Look at how good it is! <laughs> One bullet! One bullet is all it takes to just utterly destroy everybody. It's awesome. I love it. Oh my god, there's a guy. Oh my god. What the? What the heck? He just, he fell, he, he literally, like teleported back up onto the map as he fell down. That is very confusing. Very, very confusing. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm gonna say to this guy, hi, because uh, I just realized he said in the chat that, is it me? Please respond. So I said hello. And I got myself one last kill at the last second. Dude, Sky Islands and King of the Hill, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just because they're green or something like that. They are some good maps. You can get some really nice gameplay. I love these maps so much. Sky Islands was not really that great back in the day. Um, I didn't really like it too much. Ah, I remember this person. By the way, Cat Girl, I remember you. You were in one of my past videos. I think you're in my friends list as well. I think I added you as a friend. All right, I think it's time to tell another story because maybe some of you guys are like, oh, I'm getting bored. My attention span of a flea makes me bored. No, you're not allowed to leave this YouTube video. You must continue watching, okay? Exotic Gaming orders you. If I'm gonna sit here and talk for two hours straight and destroy my voice, you 
better freaking watch for two hours straight, okay? All right. Um, <laughs> Tiku is so excited. <laughs> he's so happy that he's in a video. Hey, I'm happy to I'm happy to feature you, buddy. Look at him. What the? Oh God, he died. He he died. He definitely died. Hi, cat girl. Wow, I literally can't even kill you when you're not doing anything. This is just this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think it's time to tell the story of how I actually outran the police one time. What the? Oh, I forgot this thing makes the heads big. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh my God, that scared me for a second. I thought my game was messed up. Um, so you guys ready? You ready for the story of how I, uh, I almost outran the police? Let's get this going. So this was probably, uh, I'd say seven years ago, eight years ago. Yes, I was legitimately just a kid, okay? I wasn't very old. Uh, this was probably when I was like 16, maybe, something like that, 15 even potentially. I used to go up to Vermont a lot, all right? Anybody from Vermont? Can you let me know down below in the comments if you, if you live in Vermont? Um, I used to go there a lot. As a little kid, I would go to this resort, a very family-friendly resort, and, uh, you know, I would go to summer camp and stuff like that there. And at this resort, uh, I had a lot of friends. Made a lot of friends throughout the six weeks that I would go there every single summer, okay? <laughs> Some of you might have gone to that resort before, and some of you guys might have seen me, unbeknownst to you, even knowing that you've saw, seen me before. Um, I haven't been there in four years, but, uh, you know, you might have seen me before, so that's kind of cool. But basically, I had a lot of friends. I always used to hang out very, very late at night with those friends, okay? I never got into suspicious activities, okay? Because I was only 15 at the time. Hey, Pack Girl, thank you for the easy kill. Much appreciated. Um... I remember though, there were some very iffy people that I saw sometimes late at night, okay? You had all these uh, older teens from like, you know, New Jersey and Massachusetts and New York, states like that, all right? I remember there were like these groups from those states, okay? They were like the cool kids of the resorts, okay? I'm sitting here from Florida. I had like friends from, I think I had a friend from Illinois that I always hung out with and a friend from Pennsylvania, right? But then there'd be, like, the New Jersey crew, okay? All right, the Rebels. You guys know who you are. You're from New Jersey. You're watching this video. You know you're the rebellious types, okay? All right? Okay? So <laughs> I would sit there, and I would walk up back to my house at, like, midnight, okay? And I'd pass by a bunch of kids doing drugs and stuff like that. And I'd be scared because I'd be this little 15-year-old kid. And I'd sit there, and I'd say, drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. You know, and, and then I, I, you know, I didn't actually say that. I feel like if I did say that to them, they'd probably just, <laughs> like, all gang up on me and kill me. No, but they didn't do that, and uh, I was always kind of scared at nighttime. But I remember at one point, at this resort, my friends, when I was hanging out with them, were like, Oh, my older brother, my older brother is up at the fire pit. Because at the mountain, there was a fire pit, okay? I'm gonna just real quick say this is a this is a very fun challenge. I am using all guns just to let them know what's going on here, so they know. Hey, how's it going? What the heck? Did you just spawn in? Save the tigers. I approve of your username. Save the tigers. They're actually legitimately going extinct, and it's very very sad. Um. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Let's. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. So the life story. So basically. My friend and I, we were like, you know, 14, 15 at the time. He had an older brother that was like 19 or 20, okay? And he was hanging out with his friends at a fire pit that was up in the forest on the mountain, okay? Way away from everything. It was still pretty close to buildings, like the hotel and stuff like that, but far enough to way that it was kind of like way out in the forest, right? There was just like this fire that they were going, bonfire type of thing, okay? So, you know, I was clueless. I was an idiot. I was just like, okay, sure, let's go. Let's just say the guy's name was Cole, okay? C-O-L-E, Cole, right? Cole's like, yeah, Michael, let's go. And I'm like, sure, why not? Why also can I not get a kill with this thing? Oh my God, what is that weapon? <laughs> it sucks. Oh no, and I fell down. Oh, that's embarrassing. Anyways, yeah, so basically we go up to this fire pit and I see a bunch of 20 year olds. And I don't know about you guys, but back when I was like 14, 15, if I were to go into the forest and see a bunch of 20-year-olds everywhere, 
hanging out, I'd probably be pretty uncomfortable. And if you're not uncomfortable in a situation like that with a bunch of people that you don't know that are a lot older than you, something might be wrong with you. You should be, okay? All right, little pro life tip from Exotic Gaming. Don't meet up with a bunch of people that are a lot older than you unless you know who they are, especially not at nighttime, okay? So that's one tip from Exotic Gaming. Anyways, basically, so uh, what I ended up doing was I met up with these people and <laughs> this one guy in the New Jersey crew decides, oh, I'm going to throw an entire can of lighter fluid into this bonfire. Now, I don't know about you guys, but does that sound like a good idea? Probably not. Lighter fluid is used to light things on fire. Okay? It's like pouring gasoline into a fire. It's gonna explode. It's not a good idea. So this idiot buys this entire thing of lighter fluid. He brings it all the way from New Jersey because I don't think you can buy it in Vermont. Or there's some like weird thing. He brought it all the way from his state or whatever. And this guy just throws it into the fire. <laughs> and of course it explodes. Massive fireball up into the forest. It doesn't set the trees on fire, luckily, but it was loud. Right, I felt like my eardrums were burst. But I didn't lose my hearing, obviously. Everything was okay. But we were freaked out at this point. Even the 20-year-olds were like, oh, no. This is not good. This is not good at all. The guy that threw it into the fire was drunk. He didn't know what was going on. He was stupid, right? But then, apparently, one of the people in the hotel, because it's nighttime, heard the explosion, and they called the cops on us, okay? They called, like, the resort cops. There's, like, cops at the resort. And I, I kid you not, like, five minutes later, we see headlights shining into the forest. Because we didn't realize this, but there was a road that went alongside the edge of the forest. And they actually drove up it and started going into the forest. And at that point, all this New Jersey crew, they just start running. They knew they were the rebellious types. They've had this happen before, okay? So they just run away into the forest and I'm sitting there with my friend Cole and I'm just like bro what do I do and he's just like run and I'm just like okay all right so we just start running we follow after the other guys there's still some people that are sitting there and we run all the way across the resort and then we finally get to the little the little teen center okay the, the, the little building that they have that's like for ages 11 to 15 right we get there and we like we're like out of breath we're sitting there we're just like oh, oh, oh my god bro are you all right he's like yeah dude I'm okay and uh, one of the older kids comes up and, and they finally uh, agree. And they uh, are not, they don't agree. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. They basically kind of sit there and, and uh, they tell us what the heck happened. They said that it was the police, the resort police that showed up. They had their headlights and they actually caught some of the kids. Okay? They caught some of the kids and they charged them with like disorderly conduct or something like that. I have no idea. All right? But basically, that's sort of what ended up happening. I luckily escaped. My friend Cole escaped, but I am not going to meet people in the forest again like that. That is a big no-no, all right? So that's a life lesson for everybody watching this video. Don't do something stupid like me, okay? <laughs> There's going to be that one person that's watching this video that's like, Well, my dad's a cop, and I'm going to report you, so you're going to get arrested now seven years later <laughs> please don't please don't please have mercy on me but uh yeah that's that's sort of what ended up happening and that is another crazy life story from exotic gaming this person cat girl is literally the mvp <laughs> though i kind of wish she said at least something or she did something like she made it a bit of a challenge i don't want to kill her too many times because then you know there's going to be those eight-year-olds that are watching this video that are going to say well, Exotic Gaming, it wasn't a challenge because you just killed a bunch of people that don't do anything. I was about to say something, but I'm going to die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, Tigers, how you doing? Standing still, not doing anything. That's fine. How you doing, Tails? How you doing, other guy? <laughs> Look at me. Oh, dear, is actually really good. I'm going to say you can kill me if you want. I, okay. You can kill me if you want. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to die again. God freaking dang it. Why is it when you chat, people can kill you? It sucks. It's very annoying. Pixel Gun 3D. Fix that. I know you're not going to fix that, but fix it, okay? All right. I believe in you. 
Oh, for the melee weapons, we're almost getting down to those, just the, the basic level 65 weapons. We don't really have many mythical weapons left. Or even, even legendaries. We are getting down here, dude. I don't know. I feel like we're probably more than halfway done at this point. There's a guy way up there. Hello. Oh, I missed. Yeah, let's go. Pro sniper gameplay from Exotic Gaming. Where did this guy go? Here you are. Hello there, sir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. I can't go up. What the heck is going on? <laughs> my, my, my character, Humphrey, the guy that I'm controlling right now, just decided I am not going to teleport upward. I am too fat, and I'm not going to teleport upward. I am too fat in real life at this point, actually. Who else, uh, who else has gained weight during the freaking pandemic? Because I certainly have. <laughs> I, uh, I need to start going back to the gym. I'm so overwhelmed with my classes, though, so like, I literally don't have freaking time to. It sucks. It's either make a YouTube video or go to the gym. And sometimes I want to make a YouTube video, okay? So I feel like once, once I finish with my classes in a week and a half, two weeks from now, things are going to be a lot better. Things will be so much better. I'm going to get back into shape. It's going to be awesome. Cat girl is going to finally actually try to kill me. And things are going to be 150% better, okay? All right, this year is going to be amazing. I already, I already can sense it. I'm going to try to leave the country this year, okay? All right? You know, there's not too many countries that are open for Americans, but I'm going to try my hardest to actually leave the country. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I'm certainly going to try. Anyways... We're doing all right. All right, considering I'm getting 18 kills per match here in, in Sky Islands this far into the video, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I would have thought I would have really gone downhill a lot, you know, in freaking Warehouse Assault. I would have sit and sat here and, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Not Warehouse Assault. There's only two people. Me and the noob. I don't like that. I don't want to go into Ice Palace. No, 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 no. Uh, where do I go into? Maybe Ants Life again? I don't know. I, I, there's there's a couple match matches that I seem to do really well in, and it was Ants Life earlier on, King of the Hill, and uh, some of the other ones. I don't know if Ants Life is gonna go as well this time, but because normally Ants Life for me is, it's hard. Like I suck at Ants Life. Please kill him! Oh my God, guitar thingy! What's wrong with you? I know it's a guitar. It probably shouldn't kill people. What the heck is this guy doing too? How many shots is it to kill? What? What? Did you see that? This is the leader's sword. This is the sword that the leader of the clan is supposed to use. <laughs> Why doesn't it do any damage? I'm, I'm, I'm swinging around a piece of paper. This is legitimately a piece of paper. It's ridiculous. Come on, Pixel Gun 3D. Make your leader's sword more powerful. That should be one of the best melee weapons in the game. Because it's, it's for the clan leader. That's what it's supposed to be. Only the clan leader should be able to use that thing, okay? You shouldn't be able to get it unless you're a leader of a clan, okay? All right? That should be, like, the incentive to try to, like, organize a really cool group of people in a clan in Pixel Gun 3D. Oh, my lord. Well, anyways, gonna continue using my accents for a bit just because, well, sometimes I gotta do that. It actually helps with my voice. I feel like my voice is starting to go away, <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit easier to speak with the southern... Well, look at that guy! My God, he got his cowboy hat on. He is a true Texan. That's all I got to say. Somebody, somebody's from El Paso, Texas with his cowboy hat. That's the darndest thing I ever seen. Hi oh, my Lord, cat girl's back. What in blue blazes? How are you back? What the heck is going on? <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, cat girl, come on. Why is it always you, though? I don't want it to just be kills on people that are standing still. Please, for the love of God, I need more easy kills on somebody. Not cat girl again. I might have to leave eventually if this is just all of the only kills I'm going to get. Please, kill King. Kill King. No! Stop it, cat girl. Okay, well, I'm going to kill you because you killed King. King would have been my kill, but you ruined it. You messed it up, and this is not okay. Exalted Gaming is not going to let my kills be taken from me. That's actually a lie. I am definitely going to let my kills be taken from me. Oh, and you have to have the Uno card? No, that's going to make me lose points. The Uno card loses points. Stop with the Uno card, please. I'm having a mental breakdown here an hour and a half into the video. 
This is not okay because I have so many more weapons to use. Ah, uh, state defender. Come on. I know you're good. I know you're good. Oh, no. Kill the other guy. Yes. Finally. I got to keep it going, okay? We don't have too many melee weapons to go, honestly. Like, the melee is the first section I think we're going to be finished with. Heavy, I, I'm pretty sure, is the last section. Oh, God, I just died. Oh, no. My double jump boots just stopped working. <laughs> Why? Pixel gun, please. No, please. Toy bomber, do something. Adamant bomber. It's fine. I'm going to keep pushing through it, guys, because I, 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 I failed the last using all weapons challenge, and I cannot fail this challenge again. Kill you with this stupid freaking skull crossbow. And continue on with every freaking weapon that I have in Pixel Gun 3D. So, uh, anyways, what are your guys' plan for summer? Actually, I would love everybody to let me know, again, in the comment section, another thing. What are you planning on doing for this summer? What I'm planning on doing is, like I said, trying to leave. I'm going to do two road trips across the entire U.S., by the way. Okay? I'm going to drive all the way from Florida to Montana. <laughs> And that's going to be hard, right? I'm probably going to get stopped by police about 40 billion times because they're going to say, you are driving over the speed limit. And I'm going to say, dude, I'm in the middle of Nebraska. There's nothing going on here. Why? Why would you do this? Just because I'm going to 80 and a 70 mile an hour speed limit on a road with no other cars. I have no idea. Sorry. Sorry. I'm getting carried away. I'm getting carried away. But basically, yeah, I'm doing one road trip, right? And then I'm going to go to Alaska. All right, I'm going to go with my girlfriend and my family to Alaska, and it's going to be freaking awesome. And I, I might even do vlogs, potentially. Would you like to see vlogs from Alaska? Another thing you should let me know down below in the comments. There's a lot of things you should be commenting. All right, if I don't see at least like five comments per person who's watching this video, we going to have some problems. So I better see at least five comments per person. If not, like I said, there will be some issues. And I will be arriving at your doorstep, questioning you and your mother why that you did not comment enough times on this video. No, we need to have this video rise up in the algorithm. That means commenting more times per person. Oh my god, and I keep getting this freaking Uno card. Doesn't matter though. Honestly, I am literally going to count any Uno card kill as a kill. Look at my laser bow on the right. It's still going. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. All right, well, uh, Ant's Life was a bit rough, I have to say. I'm going to still try to be an Ant's Life and maybe play a little bit longer, but in all honesty, I might leave early on. How you doing, dot, dot, dot? No! No, you took my kill! Why? Oh, no! <laughs> I fell down! I am such a noob, guys. This laser spear is so... Oh, my God, I died again! You didn't see that. You forgot that happened, okay? You only saw when I got, like, monster kills in King of the Hill. That's all you saw. All right? Another thing you should comment. You should say that Exotic Gaming is pro. I want to see everybody commenting that so no kid is going to sit there and say, Wow, Exotic Gaming is actually not very good. He fell down in Ant's Life three times in a row. That means he's a bad player. I'm sorry. I'm playing on a new phone. That's my excuse, okay? I got my Asus, not my Asus, my, my Nubia Red Magic 6. You remember, I did that video a few days ago. I reviewed that thing. It was cool. It's awesome. It's the best phone I've ever had. But my controls are a little bit off with that thing still. And uh, I think this is like the perfect time to actually like, you know, get better with the controls. If you get a new phone and you want to get good with Pixel Gun 3D with that, Literally do exactly what I'm doing right here. Equip every single weapon possible. <laughs> da baby! Oh my god, the da baby meme is in Pixel Gun and it's Humphrey! Humphrey isn't a baby! This is so confusing. There's so many weird things happening in this video. I gotta tell you, this is the weirdest. This is the most unusual Pixel Gun video I have done in a long time. We got da baby meme. How you doing, buddy? Oh, and he even said in the chat that I am fake. Dude, you literally have a Humphrey skin on. You're the fake one. What are you talking about? Stop being stop being stupid in my chat and just turn everybody into a convertible. Okay? All right? That's what you should be doing. Yes, I am aware of the memes that have been going on. I should do Da Baby and Pixel Gun 3D meme. No, actually, probably not. Probably not because in about two weeks from now, 
kids are gonna say in my comment section, Oh, it's a dead meme, it's a dead meme, you're stupid, dead meme, you're dead meme. You know, because memes change every, like, freaking week, you know? Right now, it's monkey meme and, and da baby. <laughs> and I just killed da baby. Oh, Lord. That's not good. I, I just killed a famous rapper. Yikes. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, okay, Boomer. Yeah, okay, well, that's somebody that has definitely not kept up with the times. Your username is OK Boomer. What are we in 2019? Come on now, buddy. I'm not, I do not like being killed by fake Humphrey, by the way. This is not OK. There is only one real Humphrey. OK Boomer, sir, please. You need to change your username to a more updated me. This is not OK. All right. What's the OK Boomer girl's name? All right. The one that uploaded that OK Boomer, whatever you say, Boomer, you know, I think that was when that meme became super popular. That was like a year ago. Come on, buddy. Anyways, sorry. We're getting carried away. I'm not going to start roasting people. Humphrey, oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that? He fell. He flew up into the sky. It looked like he died and he was going to heaven. He legitimately looked like he was going to heaven and then the ceiling blocked him. You know, that's another meme. It's like, what if you were going to heaven, but God said, bonk with a ceiling, you know? You know, you ever thought that? What if you died, but inside of a building? And the ceiling blocked you from going upwards, okay? That would not be good. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about that. There's going to be that one person that's going to be triggered and say, You shouldn't be making jokes about religion. Just, just stop it, okay? I make jokes about everything. I legitimately make jokes about everything. I saw a great, I saw a great thing, a tweet from somebody, and it said, If you get offended by somebody on the internet, that's like, you know, voluntarily seeing some dog poop on the ground and then purposely stepping into it. You could just walk around it and live your life and go on and everything is fine. But no, you decided to step in it because you wanted to. That was stupid, okay? So, little word of advice. Don't get offended by what people say on the internet. Just ignore it, all right? And you will have a much better time on the internet. If you do get offended by people on the internet, don't ever download Twitter, okay? Because, oh God, that is such a terrible freaking app. You should only download Twitter and follow Exotic Gaming, all right? And then you should change your location to Mongolia so you get just a bunch of pointless ads, okay? Unless you live in Mongolia, and then in that case, maybe you should change your location to somewhere else. I don't know. Whenever I use Twitter, my location is Tuvalu. You know Tuvalu? One of the least visited countries and tiniest countries in the entire world? Yeah, I literally, I live there, by the way. Among Us! It's the Among Us imposter, and he's killing me. <laughs> I keep dying in Nuclear City. This is not okay. This is too hard of a map. Seriously, like, sometimes in Nuketown you can actually do really well, and uh, other times not. And it looks like this is one of the times that I am not doing too well. I don't think I've gotten a single kill so far. Bodies are just everywhere. Dude, come on, please. I just want to get a kill. This guy, it's going to be a kill. I'm going to get a kill on this guy. I'm gonna do it. Last day in Pixel Gun 3D. This thing sucks! I don't think it has area damage. The double gum. Does it have area damage? I don't know. I'm leaving. I, I, I rage quit. I told you guys I wouldn't rage quit, but you know, I have one, one free rage quit, okay? We're gonna go on a Paradise Resort because Paradise Resort is way, way better. I can't believe I'm still going. After almost an hour and a half of commentating, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Exotic Gaming is hungry. It's, it's like 5 p.m. I want dinner. I need food. But I'm playing Pixel Gun. Maybe I should just use the double gum and eat all of the bubble gum. No, 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 no. You shouldn't eat bubble gum. You get gum in your stomach. That's not good. Oh, no, that's probably an urban myth, honestly. <laughs> I don't think that actually is the case. I think if you have gum, it doesn't really matter. Miner's thingy! Pickaxe! Minecraft! Minecraft! Come on! Minecraft weapon! This is the Minecraft weapon, and I'm gonna kill people with the Minecraft weapon. Maybe I'm not going to kill people with that. Come on. Come on. Minecraft is an amazing game. We have to make this thing more powerful. Let's go. What the heck was that guy doing? <laughs> he looked like he was shooting up into the sky, trying to figure out what was going on, but he couldn't. Yeah, there we go. There's another kill. And now we got the Monster Blaster. I love this thing. The Monster Blaster and the Dead Star are legitimately, like, neat weapons to use, okay? They look cool. They're futuristic. They're powerful. Look at that. And then look at this. Hero. More like superhero. Yeah, exotic gaming, the superhero. You definitely are rusty, and you definitely seem like you have been gone for a year. 
because we were both standing still. You had a sniper rifle, and you did not kill me. <laughs> I feel sorry for that guy. Anyways, hey, we're still going, guys. How many of you are still here? <laughs> I hope some people. I upload these two-hour-long videos, and then I look and I see, oh, the average watch time for somebody is like 6% of the video, and it makes me die on the inside. I commentate, and it's so hard to make these videos, and no one watches this far into it. Like, what do I have to do to get you to watch a two-hour-long video? I don't get it. Those Minecraft YouTubers, they upload a stream that people have already seen, and those videos are watched on average like 20-something percent. I don't get it. I'm getting good gameplay. My commentary isn't bland at all, I think, all right? I'm using accents whenever I want to. Sometimes I'm even using Russian accents. And sometimes I'm even using a British accent, yes. Yes. Do I need to use a British accent? Because it seems like the British YouTubers always get more views than the American ones. I don't understand why. It's not fair. Why is it? Is it because the voice sounds more proper? Huh? Is it that? You watch a British YouTuber and you're just like, Oh, my God, your voice is just beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. But I do feel like my British accent is kind of a mix between British and Australian. Like, I feel like a lot of times it sounds more Australian than British. To anybody that's watching who's from one of those countries who, like, knows the difference, does my, does my British accent sound more Australian or British? Or maybe it's more of an, of an Irish accent. It's, it's more of an Irish accent. I, I don't know how to do Irish. <laughs> I actually should learn. That would be an, a neat addition to the exotic gaming channel. Irish exotic gaming. Jacksepticeye? More like Jacksepticeye exotic. Or, or no, wait. Jack exotic eye. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be my new channel. Second channel, guys. Jack septic exotic septic sounds bad it's like a septic tank sewage that's not good jack septic exotic Ugh, i don't like that uh, okay I, I i changed my mind that's not gonna be the new channel the new channel is gonna be exotic gaming when he travels getting into stupid situations i've already created that <laughs> if you remember i actually created a travel channel and i uploaded one video on it but i sort of like put it on hold because well you can't really travel too much right now and I want to do that when I have a lot more time, you know? So that's what I'm going to do, all right? When I get out of college, you're going to see Exotic Gaming on the Travel Channel do a lot more cool stuff. And what the heck is this grenade launcher? Three shots? How many shots does it take to kill you? What? Four? <laughs> Five shots? How the heck did I kill somebody on my first try? That is extremely lucky. I feel like if I went into any other map against any other players, I would have just, I would have probably had to spend like five minutes with that thing. Oh my god, that is a terrible weapon. Why does the grenade launcher suck? And there's somebody else that notices me. His, his name is Phase X. It's a Phase member. We got a real Phase member in the Pixel Gun 3D community, guys. Do you think a Phase member has actually ever played Pixel Gun? Oh yes, it's a fake. Yeah. I'm definitely a fake, Rusty gone one half year. I think you're probably just putting that as your username to cover up that you're bad. Oh, Exotic Gaming just shot, shots fired, shots fired. I'm so stupid. Honestly though, that's not a bad, that's not a bad excuse, you know? If you're not good at the game, you can sit there and you can just say, oh, I haven't played for, you know, a year. I haven't played since 2018, so you gotta cut me some slack. Once I play for a bit more, I'm gonna be pro. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason why I'm losing. It's just because I'm, I've been gone for a half year. <laughs> and this guy, Rusty, one half year, he's trying to, he's lying to other people. I feel so bad for Canada 65 Canada just wanted to know if I'm real, you know? And then he lies and he says that I'm not. And then Kanada's probably going to leave the server because of that. That's depressing. That's honestly actually disappointing. We don't like that. We don't like when people just automatically assume that we're fake, you know? If a YouTuber goes into a match and uh, everybody automatically just assumes they're fake, it kind of sucks. I actually got in a game with him before. Kanata65, well, let me tell you something. You're in another video with him. And maybe 
this will actually be a pretty good video. I don't know. Maybe this will be a successful video. Maybe, maybe up to 100,000 people will watch it. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. Who freaking knows, right? Does this guy legitimately have a Confederate flag? That's his banner. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's something that would probably get you banned from Pixel Gun. You should probably change that, buddy. I see that so often here in Florida. But, you know, probably not a good idea in Pixel Gun 3D, dude. I would suggest changing that if you're watching this video right now. You're just gonna end up getting your account banned, okay? You might think it's no big deal, but people might report you. It's probably not a good idea. And I just got 20 kills that match in Paradise Resort. Paradise Resort is not a map that I normally get 20 kills in. How the heck am I doing better now than I did in the beginning of the video? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. This is awesome. I love this. I love, I love being able to get good gameplay the entire video, dude. This is keeping me fresh and excited for this video. It's not like those other gun game challenges where I'm using a level 45 gun that I can't get a single kill with and I'm just dying. You know? You go back to my other gun game challenges, like the one that I uploaded back in like February, and I'm sitting there in the commentary at the end of the video saying, oh, Hey guys, it's time for the bouquet. Oh boy, I can't wait to spend 10 minutes with this thing and never get a single kill. It's never gonna ever happen. You know, I legitimately was so disappointed and uh, I would say because of that, the video kind of sucked. Like it was not a great video. Um, but this video, my commentary, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Like I think I'm doing a good job. Oh my God, I'm done with the melee section. I just realized. Yo, let's go. We're already done with melee. Dude, so this is, we're actually coming along here. I think backup might be next or sniper. And I got a freaking hippo kill. Look at me go. Seriously. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome, dude. I am, I'm happy so far. This is a good video to make. I would love to make more videos like this. As I get more and more level 65 weapons, I can do this more often. If you'd like me to do this as like a, an annual series, where instead of I just do the, the pure, I use every weapon in Pixel Gun 3D video like I used to do, I can just use all of my level 65 weapons. And I think that would be really cool because then you guys can actually see what like accurate gameplay would be like with these level 65 weapons. Like there's that weapon that was in the melee section that was level 54 and it's called like the cop club or the police officers club or something like that. And that's only level 54. And if I suck with that thing, then you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be like, oh, well, I'm not gonna buy that myself because exotic gaming does not do good with it. And it's not an accurate interpretation of the weapon. So I should only show you what the weapons are at level 65. And that would be a whole lot better. I think, in my personal opinion. Cherry bomb time. Oh, uh, remember the good old days when I did my cherry bomb review? Late 2014. Those were the good old days, man. You sort of feel like sometimes you want to go back to like the olden days of Pixel Gun 3D. Other times though, not necessarily. I'm actually, you know, a lot of people say I wish Pixel Gun 3D was back to the way that it was. But I truly feel like with how many things have been added in since then, we actually would be pretty bored if we went back to like 2015 Pixel Gun 3D. Like we would, we would be bored and the game would die a lot quicker that way. So, you know. As long as Pixel Gun 3D just does better balancing and stuff like that, that's really the biggest issue with the game, is that there's just so much unbalanced stuff, you know? And it's really paid to win. <laughs> Honestly, it's really paid to win. If they can make it less paid to win and more balanced, then, you know, it would be a great game. We'd really not have too many issues with this thing. Oh, and also make it so I can chat without dying. Thank you, that would be much appreciated. Anyways, oh, I got a kill with that thing. Circus Cannon, we're done with that thing. Let's go. If I get the kill with the person with like the special effect, that's gonna count as a kill for me. So I'm, I'm gonna be happy with that. Oh my God, look at me go. I'm quick scoping. <laughs> I am just on fire. Look at me go. I'm getting kills with everything, dude. I just, I, oh, this is fun. I'm having a fun time. Legitimately. Like, okay, normally when I play Pixel Gun 3D for an hour, I'm like, no, this sucks. I don't like this. I'm having fun right now. This never happens. This is freaking awesome. And another match is finished. My voice is still holding up, which is nice. I got another 20 kills. Bro, I am getting so many kills this far into the video. I really would have thought this far into the video, 
I would have sat there and, you know, maybe like lost my edge. I would have sort of sucked and stuff like that, but I'm accurate. I'm doing well. I'm proud of myself. You better be proud of me. Okay, if this video does, n if any video I upload is deserving of a like, this one is deserving of a like, okay? We're almost done with the sniper section. We only have like eight or nine snipers to go. Let's go. Come on, let's get this challenge done. I'm hungry. <laughs> I want food. I want food. I need food. Quick scope, everybody. Go, go, go. Napalm cannon. Come on, let's go. We're on a time budget here. I gotta meet with a group for a group project ASAP. Come on, pixel gun. Let's get it going. All right. I don't think me yelling at my game is making me go any faster. Oh, pfft. okay. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Come on. Desert Eagle time. Yes! Dude, I normally suck with the Desert Eagle, but today I'm just lucky. I'm getting kills very fast. And I think it is because everything is at level 65, obviously, but like still, you know? You'd figure with the Desert Eagle, it's just not a very good weapon, and uh, it just would take a long time to get a kill. But maybe, maybe I'm just lucky with the servers? I don't think so. I think a lot of the people that I've gone up against are very good, especially in King of the Hill. And I was holding my own. I'm proud of myself. Like, this guy is not a bad player. Look at that. He's switching between his weapons. I think he was trying to three-cat spam. But I'm sitting there with my magic bow and getting a kill. Okay. I have to say this thing that I'm using sucks, though. What the heck is this? The poison darts. Come on. The poison darts is hard. I need to kill this guy. You're not... Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They weren't paying attention, so it was easy. Sparkly blaster time, too. Come on, sparkly blaster on Snow Wolf Girl. Oh, look at you, Snow Wolf Girl. Look at you, so pretty, Snow Wolf Girl. That's actually kind of a weird username, though. I'm not going to lie. Snow Wolf Girl. Very contradictory <laughs> things. I have no idea. You know, you all have the meme where, like, there's the cat girl meme, right? Well, what about Wolf Girl? What the heck? You got look like you got blasted backwards. What the heck? Oh, God, Snow Wolf Girl, chill, please. Please chill out. This is not okay. I just want to get a Hellraiser kill. Literally, that's all I want. Through the freaking railing. That's pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Let's go. We got like seven, I think seven snipers to go. And I think maybe seven backup weapons to go. We are getting close to the end here. And I got my bomber slinger. I'm going to bomb everybody. Okay. All right. Blast everybody to smithereens. Just like my grandpappy did in Nam, in Vietnam. Blast everybody to the, the I was about to say to Vietnamese. What the heck am I even saying? It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. It's been over an hour and a half, and I'm still going strong. So sometimes when I talk, I might not make a lot of sense. What the heck? This guy isn't making a lot of sense. You're like, you're moving all over the place. This is too, too hard. Oh, and there's both of them. Okay, Thunderspell. Do, do good for me for once. Please, one, two, no wait, two, and three, no wait, four, come on, yes, let's go. And the Swarmer. Is this the Swarmer or the Sparkling Eel? No, 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 wait, this is the Sparkling Eel. Uh, the Swarmer is the one that actually got removed. Did you know that? There's a weapon called the Swarmer in Pixel Gun 3D. It looks just like this thing that I have in my hand right now, except it's purple. And they removed it completely from Pixel Gun 3D. I bet you a lot of you guys forgot about that, to be honest. And I got a, a, a victory and a kill at the last second. Let's go! 14 kills on way less players. So that pretty much evens out to about 20. I'm going to quit, though. I'm going to go into a different map. You know, we got to have, you know, keep things interesting here. Go into a wide variety of different maps here. And I don't know. Maybe War of Toys? We can go back into War of Toys. War of Toys has always treated us very, very well. And I've always done very, very well in this map. So, all right. Shotgun time. No, wait. Love spell time. I'm going to give my love to everybody. Hello, invisible player. Do you want my love? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you don't want my love. That's fine. You like my love, though. Yeah, there we go. He wanted my love. Okay. Maybe the other guy couldn't. And that's fine. Maybe they're taken. Okay, but guess what? You know, what happens in Pixel Gun stays in Pixel Gun. You know what I'm saying? That's actually a lie. 
<laughs> my girlfriend would not be very happy if she heard that. She'd be like, what are you talking about? Who, who do I not know about? And I'd just be like, nope, nope, that's just a stupid comment that I made in a video, just like every other comment that I make in my videos. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> Don't ever take anything that I say too seriously in my videos. Aside from those life stories that I told you guys, those are legitimately actually true. <laughs> those actually happened, and uh, it was absolutely insane. Did I ever tell you about the time that I got expelled for uh, <laughs> a video? I literally got, not expelled, sorry, suspended for a YouTube video. I, be I bet you didn't even realize that. But, uh, well, actually, I should probably tell you the story. So basically, I, I made a YouTube video a long time ago. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Maybe you should find out. Oh, my God, four sniper bow. I was popping off just then. Um, I made a YouTube video where I told a life story. And the life story happened of something like literally a day earlier, okay? Very, very recent. And basically what ended up happening was I was telling the story about how my school had senior speeches. Every single senior in high school had to do a senior speech. You know, talk about what they learned in high school or like a powerful memory, you know? People would say senior speeches like, oh, I grew up in this family and I, I persevered and I actually came out a cool, you know, dedicated person, blah, 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 blah. You know, just the regular speeches that you see on like a TED talk or something like that, right? We all had to do that. I did myself. <laughs> I talked about my YouTube channel. I talked about my YouTube channel in my senior speech. And I talked about how I was proud of it. And at that time, I think I had 300,000 subscribers. So here I am with 1.1 million. I'm literally almost four times more than that. That's pretty crazy when I think about it, but uh, it's crazy how things change over the past few years. But um, anyways, yeah, I, uh, I told a story and I remember I was telling how there was this weird kid at my school. We're gonna call him, uh, oh, what should we name him? Uh, uh, dude, I don't even know. What's a name? What's a guy's name? John? We're gonna say John. I think that's a pretty basic name, right? And I was just telling how there's this really weird nerdy kid named John that would always sit there and be creepy all the time, right? We would, we had a pool at our high school and there'd be all the girls, you know, all the popular cute girls in the high school that would be at the pool, right? And he'd sit there with his goggles on and <laughs> he'd, he'd like just sit there in the pool about 15 feet away from the girls and stare at them. And they'd all be like, ew, what are you doing, John? John, why are you just staring at us? You know, right. And then John would slowly like creep up to them in the pool and he'd go like, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, 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 You know, the Jaws theme song, right? And they'd just be the weird, they'd just be so weirded out. He would weird everybody out, right? But I remember I told a story about this guy, John, and I, uh, I for some reason, the people at my school thought it was the funniest thing ever because, okay, I don't know if anybody else who does YouTube videos has this problem, but in high school, your friends just like to mess around and they will play your YouTube video to everybody, okay? So when everybody found out I had a YouTube channel, they would just play it everywhere all the time. It was the an most annoying freaking thing ever because I'd sit there and if you, if you have been subscribed to me for a long time, you know I have my my old intro. My old exotic gaming intro used to have like da 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 You remember that song, right? I'm sure that might bring up memories of OG exotic gaming, right? Well I used to have that in all of my videos in the intro. And every single time I would walk into a class, they would play that stupid song in my intro. And it was very annoying. And I remember I was talking about the senior speeches and I was saying how some of them are stupid in a YouTube video. I was telling the story about how some of the worst ones were. And this idiot at my school, we're gonna call him Ronald, okay? He would sit there and play this particular YouTube video to the teacher. And what do you think the teacher thinks when the teacher hears me posting online on the internet saying some people's work was stupid? Of course they're gonna be mad at me. So they would report me, and then basically I would get sent to the frickin' principal's office, okay? And eventually one time I did, and uh, the principal basically said, yeah, okay, you're gonna need to delete this video because it, it's not something acceptable in the school terms. We don't like you criticizing the work of other students. 
even though it was completely anonymous, by the way. I never said anybody's name. It was anonymous. And they were like, oh yeah, you gotta delete the video and you've been suspended for two or three days. I don't remember. I think it was three days. I, I had to work in the lunchroom. They legitimately forced me. It was forced labor, guys. Okay? I had to sit there and clean the plates from all the disgusting children that would give their plates when they ran out. And I just fell out of the map. That's really embarrassing. You guys didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> but yeah, basically, I had to work and uh, I, ha I got suspended for three days because of that. It was very, very depressing. But do you know the best thing? The best thing about that was the fact that I never deleted that YouTube video, okay? So the, cool, the school said, oh, you have to delete the YouTube video. I never did. I never did. And that video probably got like 200,000 views after he told me to delete the video. So that video made me like, I don't know, maybe like 50 bucks or something like that back in the day. So <laughs> instead of deleting it, I earned 50 bucks. And I think that was pretty good for being suspended for a couple of days. I turned out all right. I still got to college and there's no people around here. Hello? Oh, I thought somebody was gonna spawn in right there. But yeah, that's the third life story of the video. <laughs> I love being able to do these long videos because I can tell you guys so many stuff, so much stuff. It's a nice chill. Well, it's not really actually chill. I'm rushing to complete this and I'm almost done with the snipers. I literally have three backup and two snipers to go. So this is very exciting. We're getting close to the end. I'm hoping that we're like about three quarters of the way done, but you never really know. The final weapons might take an absolute ridiculous amount of time. Hopefully not though. And the Cupid's bow might be one of the things that's gonna take a long. Oh, <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought it was gonna be something that would be painful, but it turns out it was not painful at all. <laughs> and then the electromagnetic cannon is generally a weapon that really sort of sucks. Or maybe not. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Yes, good spawn. Please. Yeah, there we go. Got him. And we have the freaking plasma pistol. And right now there is a stupid crow outside my window. Oh, my God. You probably don't hear that. But it is so annoying. There is this idiot crow. Okay? I hate crows. Okay, there are three birds that I hate with a passion. Okay? Seagulls. A crow. And, oh my god, shut up! I can't do anything! I'm playing Pixel Gun! It is gonna mess up my commentary. There is a bird that is gonna mess up my commentary. Did it shut up? Did it shut up? <gasps> it shut up! It shut up! Yes! I can focus once again. Thank god. Yeah, basically, uh, and the other final one is something called a Sandhill Crane. Um, probably only people in the U.S. know about these things. And in the southern states, I, I don't think they're in really any other place. But there are these birds called sandhill cranes, okay? And they're like four feet tall, and they sound like a dinosaur. And they're so ungodly loud. They are so annoying, dude. Whenever I try to record a YouTube video, at least 20% of the time, I have this stupid bird that just stands out my window. Sounds like a dinosaur, and I can't do anything. I have to wait for it to shut up before I can record. It's like, you know, some YouTubers have to wait for their girlfriend to finish, you know, d cooking something or whatever. I don't know, man. Or they have to wait for their mom to finish, you know, cleaning something. Who freaking knows? But no, I have to wait for this bird to shut up, okay? But this crow, there are a bunch of crows that are so freaking annoying that just stand outside my window in this tree. And they just make this obnoxious noise and they never shut up and I don't like it. And it's not fun. Not fun at all, but whatever. I'm going to get one more kill with the fireball spell just because, just in case, uh, I know some people are going to probably say, oh, well, I don't think you got a kill. So I just got one more just to be safe. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's exotic gaming for you. He gets he gets interrupted from freaking bar. Oh, wow, that guy just killed himself. Nice. <laughs> How do you do that? You just fall off the map. He just walked backwards and thought that there was going to be a wall there to protect him. That wasn't very intelligent. And I just killed a hacker. Nice. Great. Exotic gaming. Killed a hacker. Pretty cool. And I'm on my final final backup. And I'm done with the sniper section. I just realized. Let's go. Let's go. 
I'm done with the sniper section. So we are done now with the melee section and the the uh, the sniper section. So that means all I need to do is get one more kill with the backup weapon. It's either the plasma pistol or the hot plasma pistol. I don't really remember which one. And, uh, oh, one last kill? No. Okay. All right. How many kills did I get just then? I'm kind of curious. 11. Eh, that's not that bad. Uh, I could have been better, but it's okay. Considering we're almost two hours into this video, I'm pretty impressed with myself. And unfortunately, I don't know where everybody is. There's a guy right here. Hey, buddy. One shot. Please. Two shots. Let's go. Done with the sniper section. And that is a terrible spawn, my friend. I really... That is just not good. Wow. Okay. That is not a very good spawn. <laughs> Why is it that Pixel Gun 3D spawns suck so badly? I literally made an entire video where I ranted about the spawns and they didn't do anything about it. You could have one other person in the server and you kill them and then they decide to have them spawn in right next to you. It doesn't make any sense. Pixel Gun 3D, why? Why can't you just fix the spawns? It's been an issue for years now. Come on now. Hi, Doctor Who. Yes! We're done with the backup section. And now I have one of my least favorite primary weapons. This thing is not fun. Doctor Who, please be nice. Doctor Who! Doctor Who, please be nice! Is he over here? <laughs> I swear to God, if he kills me again. Please don't kill me! Stop it! Don't kill me again! You've killed me two times already! No! Please! No! Kill him! Oh my god! How do you have so much health? Why? He has so much health! Thank you! I finally got a kill! I really appreciate it, game! Get out of my life! Backup section! Sniper's done! Heavy section now! Let's go! I'm, I'm getting close to the end here. This has been a bit of a painful video to make. And it's been tough to try to keep this commentary up this entire time with this much level of inflection. But you know what? I'm happy with it so far. And I think we're doing a really, really good job. I'm not sucking, <laughs> which is the most important thing. And that guy, I don't really know what he was doing. He looked like he was trying to go up the stairs, but he couldn't. Hey, how's it going? Oh, he, 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 he probably was typing, I think. I don't know. Looked like somebody that was trying to chat, but I don't really know. How you doing, buddy? You doing pretty bad, I gotta say, and your friend is too. Got my pet dragon. Burn you to death. How to train your dragon in 2021. And then let's kill this guy with the water rifle. No, wait, yes. Oh my god, I got it at the last second before I died. That was pretty clutch, not gonna lie. I've gotten a lot of clutch kills in this video. And then we got this thing. You know, I never see anybody use these two weapons here. This thing, this trapper weapon that's like the gift throwing thing. Portable gift thrower. Is that what it's called? Right? I'm pretty sure. And then the heavy gifter. That, that heavy weapon that I just used. I never see anybody use them. Why? Why is that? Doctor Who, please, dude. You are just, you are, you are literally just going beast mode. And I can't have this. You have to make it easy for me, please, for the love of God. You have to make things easier. Please, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, come on, I'm doing a challenge. You need to be nicer. Please, brave patriot. Oh God, military weapon versus military weapon. Mine came out on top. Somehow, somehow. <sighs> How many weapons do you think we have left? I think maybe about uh, 40 or so, not too many. Oh, he's chatting. I'm gonna take this opportunity. Beautiful! Nicely done! Exalted Gaming got an easy kill. It's been a long time since he's gotten an easy kill, so he's gonna take it. Maybe I can get him a second time. Oh, there he is. Oh, I feel bad, actually, legitimately. I'm sorry, Doctor Who. I'm sorry. He just wanted to chat. He just wanted to chat, but it's okay. I got the kill, and that's all that counts, you know? Sometimes you gotta be, uh, you gotta play a little dirty. And that's exactly what I did, okay? Oh my god, he's right there! What the? What? What? <laughs> he just fell out of the map. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I switch my weapons. I, I rejoin the game. The guy is just standing right there. And then out of nowhere, he just falls out of the map. <laughs> that was a very weird, weird thing that just happened here. All right, I'm going to quit. Take myself a little breather. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see here. We are going to go into... I think pool party. The reason is because we're already like an almost two hours into this video. 
and I really need to get a lot of really quick kills at the last bit here because I don't want to make this video three hours long. If I stayed in Sky Islands, I feel like this video could be like two and a half hours long, three hours long, and look at how fast you can get kills here in Pool Party. It's ridiculous how quickly you can kill people, and uh, I, I, wanna, I need that. I need that in order to finish off this challenge because I feel like if I talk for that much longer, my commentary might start to go downhill, and I don't want that. I want my commentary to be good the entire time. Fast, easy kills like we're doing right now. Look at me go. Veteran for the win. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe on this guy? Hello? Oh, no. This is not good. Veteran, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That's all I needed. You gotta work with me here. Man. Oh, no. And I got the freaking snowball. That is not good. This guy in the chat <laughs> just called somebody a, a noob. He is mad. He is so mad. And this guy is asking if I'm real or fake. Oh, geez. It's chaos. Pool party is just complete chaos. And I like to save the chaos for the very end just because, you know, a lot of people don't like to watch this. You know, this type of gameplay, too much chaos. You have no idea what's going on. And, you know, I liked when I was in King of the Hill because I had at least an understanding of what was going on. There's too much, like, fire, too many explosions. It's just what is going on. I have absolutely no idea. Please kill him. Dude. The dual shotguns suck. Look at this. I, I, this has taken a long time to get one kill with this thing. Wow. Who would have thought dual shotguns, out of all the weapons that I have, are the most difficult weapons to use? I'm legitimately kind of impressed. Can I finally get one kill on somebody? Hello? This guy, yeah, is saying real. At least he understands that I'm real. Please, kill him. Yes, or her. I don't really know. I don't want to judge. God freaking dang it. It's okay, though. This is actually going pretty well, and I like that I went into pool party right at the very end here because, I mean, I can get a lot of kills really fast. Like, look at that. That's another one. Another one. Bam. Look at that. Instant. Did I just get another one? Another one. Look at that. I, I, it's so easy. Dude, pool party. If you have level 65 weapons, you can get really nice gameplay in it. It sucks when you have level 55. It sucks. It is horrible at level 55, okay? So don't even try. If you're trying to use an underleveled weapon, you will never be able to get kills in Pool Party with it, with that. But if you have something upgraded to level 65, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. And uh, in all honesty, I sort of wonder what weapons would be the next best weapons to upgrade. Because I have a decent amount. I don't have too many. But I have, you know, I'd say about 80 to 100 weapons that I have not upgraded to level 65. And I sort of want you guys to let me know. If you've seen this video and you've seen any weapon in my armory that's like 54, 53, 55 or whatever, can you let me know if you think it's worth upgrading to level 65? Because I would love to know. The thing that sucks is the mythical weapons cost a lot. <laughs> it's like 220 gems to upgrade one single weapon to 65. That's a lot of money. It's expensive. And why did you do that? He no-scoped me. This is not okay. Razor Thor, please. Last second kill. That's all I want. Did I just get a last? I did. I did. I did not win. <laughs> I did not get anywhere close to winning that time. But I got myself a grand total of 18 kills, which is pretty good. That's about what I've been getting this entire video, aside from the earlier matches in King of the Hill where I was getting, like, upwards of 30 freaking kills. That's a lot. 30 kills was a lot. That was very impressive. But, uh, yeah, dude, we're getting close to the end here. I don't have that many more to go, and I'm still feeling good. I don't know about you. I think the vast majority of people that clicked on this video are not listening to my voice right now, and that's, uh, well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. It's okay. To the few dedicated people that are actually watching this far, I, you know, I cannot thank you enough. Seriously, like, real talk for a second. I've been acting like an idiot this entire video. <laughs> just, just having fun and messing around. But, like, I want to take just a second to thank you. Okay? To everybody that's still watching this far into this video. You are the true legends, okay? The fact that you would want to sit here and watch two hours of me talking. You know? <laughs> having a painful experience trying to use every freaking weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. The fact that you're still here, you're freaking awesome. And I cannot thank you enough. Like, just let me know. Let, leave a comment. 
Say something that you are here listening to me at this point so I know who you are, okay? Because I read my comments and I know which one, of, I know you guys, okay? If you've commented on a lot of my videos in the past, there's a good chance I know who you are, right? And I remember your username. I remember a lot of the people's usernames, okay? And uh, if you let me know that you, you were here, you know, you watched the whole video and uh, you loved it, you want to see more, dude, I, I really value that. I really appreciate that. And uh, I want to thank you. So, yeah, real talk done. Stupid talk. Ignite. Initiates. Batman freaking. I have no idea. <laughs> I just, I'm going. We don't have many. We have four primaries to go, dude. And we have a lot of special weapons to go. And a lot of heavy weapons to go. I am almost done with the primary section. Look at this. All of these heavy weapons are good. They're easy. But now this, this, this thing. This might not be good. <laughs> Come on, balloon cannon. You can do it. I know it's literally shooting a balloon, you know, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense. What, is there a water balloon can gun? Actually, I don't think there is. Would the water rifle be classified? No, it shoots out like little water droplets. That's something Pixel Gun can do for a summer update. A water balloon gun. How about that? It's sort of like the automatic decorator. You remember the automatic decorator? That's the thing that shoots out little Christmas ornaments. But uh, please, can you make it more powerful than this thing? Because that took a long time to get one kill. I was not a fan, okay? Oh my god, I see the end. I see the end of the special section. I see the end. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like I've just gone under the, between the two islands of Japan, uh, Hokkaido and Honshu, okay? And I, I just went under the, one of the largest tunnels in the entire world. And I see the exit. It's in the future. It's almost done. And we're almost finished with this entire freaking challenge. And I'm honestly going to be very, very proud of myself once I finish this thing, okay? Because it gets harder and harder to do these using all weapon videos. Like when I did this video, this gun game challenge back in like 2017, it wasn't that hard, you know? There were maybe like 250, 300 weapons. There weren't that many, you know? So it took me like eh, two hours total to use everything. And if I wanted to use everything in this game, like if I actually had every single gun in Pixel Gun 3D, like that would probably take like four hours or more. Five hours? That's a lot of weapons. So like, you know, it's getting really hard to do these types of videos and I want to continue doing them. And if you guys keep showing the support on these types of videos, I will very happily do that because these videos actually do pretty well. Unlike a lot of my videos that do very well very early on, the weird thing is, and you might notice this, is this video probably won't get a lot of views in the beginning, okay? And then like over time, a year from now, it's gonna, you know, be very consistent getting views. And it's it's like the, you know the the me, you know the thing, the, the story where like there's the tortoise versus the hare, right? The turtle versus the rabbit, and the rabbit goes super fast at the very beginning, and then the turtle ends up winning at the end. That's like how it works with these videos, and I don't really understand why. You know, if I can understand, <laughs> I'd probably be able to get more views on YouTube and stuff, but like in the in the beginning, a lot of my other videos do much better, right? But then over time, these types of videos do better. So it's pretty cool. And this guy has the ice club and you are annoying. Stop using your ice club. No, this is not okay. Mesh shroom. <laughs> His name is mushroom, but with a mesh inside. It's not mush, it's mesh. That's kind of scary, not gonna lie. Um, I don't know, I think we probably have like 15 left. Laser disc thrower is a little bit rough, not gonna lie, but we're pushing through it, and I think I can kill Meshroom. Come on, kill Meshroom. Kill him, please. No! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? Come on now, Mushroom. Come on, Mushroom. There we go, we killed the guy that had the skull and skeleton skin. He's a Minecraft skeleton, and I happen to have a fully enchanted bow with flame on it. Oh my god, and I'm done. I'm done with the I'm done with the backup. I'm done with the melee. We have five special to go and four heavy. We're in the final ten. Dude, we're almost done. Let's go! Nine or no, eight! We have eight left! Let's go! Oh my god, I've been reinvigorated. Let's get this going. We're almost done. We are almost done. Come on, come on, come on. Go quick, go quick. Go, 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 go. Kill Duchess, whatever your, your name is. Yes. And get another one. 
Come on! This weapon actually sort of sucks. It's not a very good gun. Uh, this might take a lot longer than I think, but whatever. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Come on, please. For the love of God. Kill that guy. Yes! Yes! Come on. I'm so... I, 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 we're almost done. We are almost done. <laughs> I can't believe it. After so many minutes of gameplay and commentary and my voice being basically dead. <laughs> where I'm gonna have a freaking presentation soon and it's gonna be a bit rough, not gonna lie. Uh, I, I'm proud of myself. Look at this. And these final weapons aren't even taking a long time. I mean, the fireworks launcher might, but like, you never really know, let's see. Hey, ya, how you doing, ya? I don't know, dude, but I am, uh, come on, come on. Please, for the love of God, I just wanna get this done. Porch monkey. <laughs> Porch monkey? What the about what? How do you spell monkey that wrong? M-U-N-K-Y. <laughs> I don't even know. Maybe it's not even a monkey that that guy was trying to spell. Very confusing. Very confusing. Maybe that's the new way to spell monkey according to the monkey meme. Who freaking knows, dude? And we're on the final special weapon. This is it. This is the last one. And we're done. And I got a triple kill. What? Yo, let's go! I finished! I used everything! I literally used everything! Oh my god, combat rifle for the win, maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. Okay, alright, well, we're, we're just not doing too well right here. But, look at this! I freaking did it! I used every single level 65 weapon that I own in Pixel Gun 3D, and I got a kill with every single one. All my primary, all my backup, all my melee, all of my special, all of my sniper, and all of my heavy weapons at level 65. Look at all of these weapons though. I can upgrade any of these if you if you want me to. So I would like everybody to watch this video, right? And, and look at this list of weapons and see if there's any weapon that you think I should upgrade next. Um, because I would totally do that. Anyways, uh, I guess with that being said, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like, please, for the love of God, and subscribe to my channel down below for more Pixel Gun 3D content coming out very soon. Thank you so much to everybody that is still here and watched this far in the video. I appreciate it so much. As I said, you guys are absolute legends. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you all later.